Uh, hi, I'm Wade from Chandler Limited. Uh, we're here at Sweetwater to discuss our new product. It's a TG microphone to continue our line of microphones that we started with the Red Mic, uh, both developed in conjunction with Abbey Road. As the name implies, this uses circuits from our TG type amplifiers, preamps, EQs, and uh, et cetera, which were from the old Beatles and Pink Floyd desks used at Abbey Road. This is a solid state Class A um, microphone and the TGs in general. And there are three TG amplifiers in here. It also has a special uh, tone circuit uh, in it that allows you to reshape the tonality of the microphone in five different ways. Um, where this comes from uh, is from the old EMI mastering desks. What they had on there was a really interesting thing. It was called the NAB IEC tape equalizer. And this was used when, say, Capital in the States would send them uh, tapes over for mastering, and they needed to reproduce the playback curves of the tape machines from America. So they would switch this, would say 7.5 IPS um, and ABIC, and it, the whole system would, would play back the tape correctly for mastering. So they didn't have to retune all of their machines you know, in the mastering room. Um, but what's neat about that is it's the it's the coolest sounding little passive tone control that I've, I've ever heard. And it's a circuit I've used for a long time. I'm lucky to have a small EMI mastering desk at our shop. And I always run things through it just to use this little passive tone shaping system. I really wanted to do something special with the mic. I thought the, T, the red mic turned out pretty special and it had kind of some differences to it. Um, so we wanted to continue that and I thought that was the, the, the coolest way to do it in the TG mic was to add that shaping. So it gives you a lot of versatility in the microphone. You can make it sound like other mics, but also just retune the whole the whole microphone for versatility. One example of, of this is my normal like bass path at, at the shop would be say a FET 47 or now more recently a red mic right up on a, like a B15 or something. I would run that out to a preamp and then usually to a Poltec for bass. And I you know I would slam the the bass boost. Um, and take all the low cut out to, to reshape it and, you know, really kind of get, get intricate with it or, you know, aggressive with it. So I started kind of messing with these settings in early on and I, I switched it to the far one, which is a bit of a bass and treble reshaping. And it was just so thick and dense, I ended up not using Poltex at all during the development and I was getting more depth and more fullness from the system. So very versatile, meant to cover a lot of different details but also uh, give people that sound of like TG2s and curve benders and things in a microphone. One other very important part of this microphone is how the voltage is run. It actually has an external supply, not unlike our red microphone, although for this mic, it's a really little, little one. It's a 50 volt supply to the mic. So that allows us to do a number of things. One, it allows us to run the the TG circuits at full power. We didn't have to power them with low voltage or lower current, more, more importantly. Um, you know, a lot of mics, solid state mics, run on almost no current because phantom power can't supply that. You know, it can power a few transistors. So this allows us to use full power, class A, high current um, amplifiers, and it, it adds to the sound that you can't get from a typical solid state mic. You have a depth that is added uh, we also take that further by, because it's a higher voltage supply, we, we went to the capsule and said, okay, most solid state mics run on little to no voltage, millivolts, just enough to kind of turn the capsule on, so to speak. We're using the full 50 volts on the capsule. So, um, you know, a lot of mics, like classic mics, 60 volts is a pretty standard voltage for capsules. So this is running on 50 volts. You're getting um, a lot of similarities to tube mics at that point because you have the full power um, on the capsule. You have a full power circuit like a tube mic runs with, you know, hundreds of volts and it has ap ample current to do whatever you want. So this is, an, in my opinion, is the next step past what solid states mics can offer. And it's more of a tube mic vibe. It has the depth, it has the openness. You don't have the pinched sound that you can sometimes get with the, um, solid state because of the powering and the capsule voltage and all that and uh, super proud of this and I think you'll find that uh, it's a little different than the normal solid state you're used to. So that's the TG mic. Thanks for checking it out and if you have any questions about Chandler Limited products, definitely contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.